You know, I can't believe how fast the time's flying already through this summer and with the fishing season. We just completed the third week, which is uh, June 2nd to the 9th. Fishing again, I know you probably get tired of me hearing me saying it, but uh, the fishing is great on the outer lakes. We even had people go up to Shackaback, which is quite an adventure, and you'll see a stringer of fish uh, right after this little uh, brief interview uh, of the walleye that they caught up there. So, uh, but again, we want to give a big thanks to it's guys like Steve Franklin from South Carolina. I mean, they've been coming here for 20 years, and it's a big thanks to them and our repeat clients that come here. And they're not only just clients, but they've become personal friends. Uh, Bert and I were busy this week. We're getting the outpost ready, and uh, we have people going out there next week. So uh, everything's going great. We want you to give us a call. We want you to book a trip. We want you to experience these things that these people are, are coming up and doing. So it's a great time. Give us a call. We'd love to talk to you. Okay, it's, we're into the uh, third week of the fishing season here at Flint, and I'm with Steve and Stacy. They're from North Carolina. They got a nice stringer of pike, and Stacy, this is your first time here. And uh, so what do you think of the whole thing so far? The first cast in the water brought back a fish. You can't ask for better than that. No, no, and uh, you guys are up in cabin 10, and that's all working good for oh, you? Oh yeah, wonderful. Yeah. Perfect. Lots of room, many space to move around. Mm -hmm. Well, I tell you what, it looks like you guys got some lunch here on the uh, Stringer, right. so uh, That's what we were after today. <laughs> <laughs> you done good, and uh, go clean them up, and there's more water to go hit. Great, thank you. Okay, we're into the third week, and the sun popped out. We finished with our rain. Now these guys went to one of our outer lakes, which is called Cassegimini. We keep three boats on it. We use four horses. So tell me a little bit about Cassegimini today. It looks like you guys did well. Oh, it was fantastic. Yeah, it was great. Gorgeous lake. Tons lots of fish. Of, lots of walleye. Big bald eagle flew over top. It was gorgeous. Now this here, this, this pike course is beautiful. Is that the biggest pike you've ever caught? It's the biggest one I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> and it was a great fish. And you know what? These are just some of the lakes that we have. Cassegimini has to be one of them. And uh, of course here, the fish in there is outstanding, just like the other ones. But, Congratulations, guys. You had a great day, and you're not going to starve tonight. Yeah, well <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. And, uh, you got yourself a beautiful pike there. Uh, you've been fishing out here on Clotch Lake. Beautiful day. Tell me a little bit about your catch there. Uh, we went over to the walleye hole on the corner of Clotch Lake. Uh, this little guy was hiding in there, trying to take out the walleye, and he bit our walleye line. Excellent. Uh, it's an awful nice fish. How long was it? Uh, he's over 40. We couldn't get a full measure on the tape. Beautiful. What a trophy. <laughs>